these lashes though. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am filming a first impressions get ready with me. Not a tutorial, not so much. We're just getting ready and I want to catch you guys up on some life stuff that is going on with me because I've missed a couple uploads. It's been a lot and I just wanted to fill you guys in. It's been a little bad, mostly good, and I'm super excited for what's coming. So before we get into the video, y'all know the drill. If you're new here, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do try to upload twice a week. I've been slacking a little bit, but I promise it's for a good reason. And once you listen to the rest of this video, you'll know why. So I won't keep you waiting. I have a lot of new products that I tried on my face. I'd love for you guys to see how everything turned out. So if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I feel like I have not filmed in a minute. I've had some stuff pre-recorded that I needed to edit. So that's probably a lot of the stuff you guys have been seeing minus my last birthday haul. If you've noticed, I've been a little behind on my uploads because I normally post twice a week. I think there was one or two weeks where I only did once the week I got in a car accident and I believe last week too. Today is March 31st and I have no idea when you're going to see this video. So <laughs> I'll just get into it, but I want to talk to you guys while I get ready. I'm going to be using a lot of new stuff because like I said, you guys have seen me do all these hauls. So I want you to see what I think about the products, not just storing them in a bin. I use my Becca primer because I am using a new foundation and I wanted to make sure that it works well with what I know works well for me. So I'm going to be using the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This says it has hyaluronic acid. It's long wearing. It's currently almost seven o'clock at night, so we're not doing a wear test, but I still want to see what it looks like, how the color matches, and I might keep it on for a few hours. Who knows? I got the shade 080 Neutral Pecan. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using today, and I am going to do my eyes first because I have never used it, is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Icon palette. I picked this up off of Amazon. I'm going to tell y'all why I picked it up because I was so excited about my Tom Ford stuff. And then I was like, these kind of look like kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury quads and I don't have any of those. And then I saw this and so I was like, well, why not get this and have more than just four shades? So this is what the palette looks like. I have not used this yet. I got it and I put it in my haul bin. And so yeah, I'm going to go outside my normal box of hauling it showing y'all then trying it we're just gonna try it right now for eye primer this is something else that i hauled recently and this was a recommendation from one of my subscribers this is the covergirl lid lockup eyeshadow primer it says it only came in one shade this is 100 universal it says preps for all day wear all day crease proof shadow security maximize your wear and intensity of your eyeshadows dries quickly Anywho, what's been up with you guys? It's almost April here in Texas. They have decided to pretty much just act like COVID doesn't exist anymore. Luckily, the businesses are still making people wear masks, but everything is wide open. I don't know if this is going to sheer out or not. I have not used this yet. But yeah, stuff here is pretty much wide open. So they're not doing like any kind of capacity minimum you know like before they were saying oh we can only have a maximum of xyz people in now it's just like y'all can come in do what you want i guess no more social distancing whatever i am still wearing my mask for the most part i don't wear my mask in the gym i know i'm taking a chance but i know i'm gonna end up taking it off because i can't breathe already doing the stuff that i do and then wear a mask on top of that nah that's where we're at with that. I'm just going to set this a little bit since I have no idea. It feels a little sticky, which is interesting. More updates. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go and follow me. My Instagram handle is at Miss Barbell Barbie. 
I posted on there that I am actually about to move. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I have been in this house, or maybe you don't know how long I've been in the house, but I introduced you guys to my closet in July, because so I think that's when I got it done. I've only been in this house, I closed on it February 14th of 2020. These colors are very, very pigmented, but it is blending out well. Um, closed on my house February 14th of 2020, moved in at the beginning of March. So I've technically been in my house a little over a year. Yeah, Janet and I have decided to buy a house together and full disclosure, we dated before, we've lived together before. And we lived, I moved to Houston for her and we lived in her house. So me getting my own house was kind of just a okay, can I actually do this? I'm gonna go through the process. Can I afford it? You know, like, what is this about? What's the big deal? Because I was tired of apartments. I had my knee surgery and it was just more her suggestion than anything else. And I didn't think it was necessarily something that was gonna be bad. She was amazing because we had just started dating and we weren't sure if we wanted to like try to squeeze everything into her place and live together again right away or date living separately with me having my own place for a while and then moving together so if y'all don't know anything about me i'm an aries and i don't do well in limbo when i'm ready to move when i'm ready to do something i'm ready to do it and it gets done asap it took me thanks to keon two weeks to find my car it took no time for me to find this house. I found it. This was, I think, the third or fourth house that I looked at. And I knew I loved it. So it was just a, we're about to jump on it because I'm not playing. I don't like things to take a long time just because I feel like I got other stuff to do. And I don't sleep well if I'm like constantly thinking about it. So for me, I want to get it done and then I can move on to something else. So right now with the way the market is, I work for a mortgage company. So I have seen how the rates are going as far as interest rates being really low. I've seen how, you know, people are able to sell their houses pretty much for whatever they want right now because of the fact that, you know, there's a shortage for houses. So people are just kind of like, yep, I'm going to raise the price on what I'm asking even more than what it appraises for because people need to move their desperate and they're probably going to pay for it. So with the market being the way that it is, not that we're desperate to move or anything like that, but it was just like, look, we have two houses to sell. We have to sell her house, have to sell my house. And this is the perfect time. We know we can make a profit on our houses and get a low interest rate on the house that we're getting. So it took me, I would say about three weeks, three weeks of searching, but we both knew that we needed like super, super specific things in order for this to be a house that we could live in together and it be like a dream house that's gonna work for us. So it was like, okay, we both work from home. We both need an office space. We both need like specific, <laughs> it was crazy. We needed to be in a certain part of town, close to the airport. We needed to be not too far from my office, not too far from her office, not too far from my gym, not in the country. Needed to have enough room for all of our stuff. And I know that I'm not gonna have the closet that I have now, but I still wanted to be able to have a separate filming room since my filming room is in my closet right now. It was a lot, but we found, we narrowed it down. We made a decision a couple weeks ago. We've already started the loan process with my company and we're buying a house that is a new build. I was not necessarily feeling like I needed a new build, but it was something that Janet wanted. So we decided to go that route. So that is where we are right now. We are, we have a closing date that is set for, these colors are beautiful. I didn't think they were gonna be this pigmented for some reason, I don't know why I didn't think that. It's weird because they're almost all kind of like either a super foiled or super shimmery 
or a satin, but there's no real matte. So it's almost like Natasha Denona's cream to powder. So you can see in the ones that I've used how it kind of has that, like it's darker right there. My brush was not wet, so I'm not sure why it looks like that, but that's just, I guess, the under... Let me feel this. It feels like a satin, like a... It doesn't look like your standard matte shades. So either way, very pigmented and they apply really nicely. So I'm not mad at this at all. But yeah, so we are pretty much just at the point right now where we're trying to figure out what furniture we're gonna keep from each other's house. So we are pretty much now just waiting to get our houses on the market, waiting for them to do everything they need to do to finalize the loan. And April 27th is our close date. I'm just gonna blend out around this a little bit more because she got a little smoky real quick. But these colors blend so well together. So yeah, this past weekend we celebrated my birthday. So if y'all can tell my face is still puffy, your girl ate everything. Crawfish with all the salt. I didn't even weigh myself this week because I just did not want to be pissed off. So we're gonna work on getting all this extra little bloat off, but had a blast, enjoyed celebrating with my, ooh, with my friends. This is the green. I almost used it. I almost used it by itself, but I was like, I swear I just did that green look for my drugstore video, so I didn't wanna do green again, but there we popped it on there there was a tiny bit of fallout with that not much so i went ahead and wiped that off with a makeup wipe another thing i picked up was this honest beauty honestly bright eyes tinted eye cream this is in the shade terracotta i picked this up from ulta i honestly just picked it up because i had no idea what it was and it looks almost like a color corrector but it says it's a multitasking color correcting eye cream to help mask dark circles plus delivers 24 hours of hydration for a bright more well-rested look so this is what it looks like here almost like a concealer but it is a little more neutral Ooh, that looks dark that is a mm, i feel like it's a little darker than what i would go with if i was just trying to cover up my under eye circles and not wear anything else but this isn't bad I just feel like well maybe if I had some powder a little bit of a lighter powder that I set it with it wouldn't be bad but it definitely feels more like a moisturizer than a concealer which I can appreciate for foundation like I said I'm gonna go ahead and use the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation let's see how this looks because i haven't even pumped any of it out to try the color but yeah so i am getting ready to move again i'm in the process of selling furniture like i said and just trying to get myself prepared for the people who are going to be in and out of my house looking at it hopefully it'll sell quick and i'm excited because when i bought it it actually appraised for more than what it was being sold for. So I got an amazing deal when I bought this house. And so now, if all goes the way it should, I should come out ahead on it and have some money in my pocket. So that is always a great thing. That was another gamble I was nervous about taking initially, but I just feel like other than the fact that the seller was psycho, everything went perfect for me to be able to say i bought my first house on my own maintained a house on my own sold a house and made money off of it so you girls feeling a little bit like a boss you know first impression i love the coverage i y'all know how i am about my shades I love the color of this because it is neutral. Very, very neutral. But yeah, I'm just excited. Um, it's crazy because my friends laughed at me, but I told them since I've been in Houston, which is since 2016, so it's been five years this year, I have moved seven times. 
I'm not going to get into the backstory of that because not all of it is good. But yeah, it was a bit of a mess. And so right now I'm not feeling much anxiety about moving because I feel like I've done it so much that it's just kind of like, you know what to expect. I am just concerned about, you know, how much time it's going to interfere with my filming. So I'll try not to let it be too much. But at the same time, I... If I don't move all my stuff at the right time, if I don't have enough stuff pre-filmed, y'all know how it goes. So I'll try to keep my schedule, but I'll be stressed out enough without trying to cram YouTube videos in. For concealer, I picked this up. This is the Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Um, This is in the shade SX11. I got this. I've never shopped on HSN, but I went on HSN. I bought this for 20 bucks and it came with a brush. So this is what the brush looks like. I'm not sure why it's double sided, but it says do it concealer. One side's flat and then the other side is fluffy. So let's see how that works. I do know that they say this is the shade that I picked up and I was nervous because I was just trying to go by what other people said and what they were using. But you know, that's kind of hit or miss. Um, they said that a little bit of this goes a long, long way. So we're just going to start with the fluffy side and try to blend this out and not look crazy. I don't know if you guys follow me, like I said, on Instagram, but I don't even think I've been posting as much on Instagram just because it's been so much stuff going on. And I think I have pictures. I'll try to insert a picture right now. The house, like I said, it is a new build. It is not done being built yet but we changed out one of the bedrooms to make it an office because she liked that room better. We're still trying to figure out layout for stuff. So I like how this concealer looks and y'all saw, y'all know how much concealer I normally put. I did not have to do that this time. So absolutely love the way this looks and I'm glad I finally got to try it. I am gonna set it with my Becca Hydra Mist powder. I'm just gonna take a little brush and lightly set. I don't feel like I need to bake and do all that stuff. But definitely wanna make sure this doesn't crease because it is very emollient and I just feel like it will get all in these fine lines. All right, I went ahead and I finished up my bottom lash line and I did my eyebrows. I don't know that I like these eyebrows, but we're just going to go with it. I've been trying to grow them out, so they kind of look a little crazy, but we're just going to go with it. I used a pencil I hadn't used before. This is the NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil. This one has the brush at the end. And then it's a bigger pencil, like the not as big as the like um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. It's a little smaller than that, but not as small as the Brow Wiz. I don't think I like it. I feel like I tried the NYX Espresso Pencil recently too, and I didn't like that either. These just feel really waxy. And so it feels like they kind of slip around instead of staying put. We're going to finish up the face, and then I'm going to do lashes and all that stuff off camera. But I'm going to use this Kiko Milano Smart Essential Face Palette. This is in the shade 03. This is one of the things that I picked up at Marshall's. So this is what the shades look like. So we're going to see how this top shade looks as a bronzer. I usually can't really tell till I get what is red. Uh, oh, did I dip it in the freaking blush? Probably. These pans are so small. Let me get a smaller brush, Lord, if I mess my face up. You can see a little bit of a contour. It's not as dark as I normally go, which is probably a good thing because y'all know I go ham. And I also did not set this part of my face. I only set where I put the concealer. So this is definitely more of a natural contour bronze than what I normally do, but she cute. But anyway, yeah, so that is what is going on in my life right now birthday was awesome again to my friends who watch me thank you all for coming out thank you for celebrating with me making it special making it memorable so the place that we celebrated my birthday was kind of like a hole in the wall they had 
crawfish and it was all you could eat boiled for $35. Your girl went in like ridiculous till my stomach hurt. I didn't even care. I knew I was going to do that. I just went in because I was like, I know I'm probably not going to eat this again anytime soon. So we're going to enjoy it while we have it. And I danced and danced and danced like my knee still hurts. Both of them. Ooh, that blush is red. It is very pigmented and I feel like it's a powder, but it's going on like really, really smooth. Goes with the eyes. I ain't mad at it. Let's see what this highlighter looks like though. I don't know. I want to use, I want to use this highlighter, but I have another one that I want to use. I have the Artist Couture Diamond Luxe Luminizer in Hot Zion. I have, did not have any of these and I picked this up during the Ulta sale. Ooh, she, I say. So that is what that one looks like. And then I have the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the shade Iced. That is what this one looks like. So I'll show them both to you. So this is what we're working with. Let's start with the Artist Couture just because if y'all don't watch him, go check his channel out. It feels like my face isn't really set. Like I feel a little sticky. So I might put a little bit of powder just to set that in a little bit. But we are going to take this Artist Couture highlighter and see what it do. I just lightly went in. See it a little bit. I know this probably can get built up very quickly, very easily. I might put both of them just because I want to see. I mean, I think I'm, this one is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. And I know I could build it up to where it would be blinding. I like that this one is more of like a gold champagne as opposed to like icy. And this other one looks a little icier. So let's see if I put the milk one on top of it. She is, yeah, definitely icier. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's a highlight right there. So, yeah, definitely this one from Milk Makeup would be for, like, I want to be seen from out of space <laughs> versus Artist Couture, which I'm sure, don't get me wrong, could be built up more. It's less likely to get out of control. But, baby, do you see what I see? It's beautiful. All right, for eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and use my XX Revolution Flix eyeliner. I just feel like I haven't used this in a while, so I wanna use it. And then I'm going to put on, attempt to put on these I Envy Remy 3D Invisible Band, Invisible Band Lashes. This is in the style KREI02. This was the one that I said would probably be the easiest for me to put on. It is too late for me to be fighting with lashes. So I'm going to attempt to put these on and hopefully don't have any issues. But I'm going to do that all off camera because y'all know me in lashes. It takes a while and we don't have all night. So I will be right back. These lashes though. Okay, I ain't even going to lie. This is like super long for me. But... These were so easy to put on and I honestly love how dramatic they look like. Look how long that is. <laughs> but I love them. I thought I was putting them on the wrong eye because they're shaped like this and they're kind of long here and it looks like they're actually shorter out here, but no, I mean, I don't think I would want my lashes to go in this way. So. Yeah, these are the lashes. Absolutely love them. Easy to put on. This is the style. Tell y'all again, and I'm going to write this down because I will wear these again. K-R-E-I-0-2, and it is the INV Remy 3D. These are gorgeous. These are so pretty. All right, let's move on because I can stare at these all day. For lips. I'm going to use my Too Faced, which one is this? Matte Limited Edition Gingerbread Scented Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Gingerbread Girl. This is the one that I said was a lot more red than I thought, which I think is going to go perfect with this look. So I have this lip liner that I got from Jordana, which I found in the drugstore. This is in the shade Hot Cocoa. 
I like that it's a brownish red. I don't know if you can find these somewhere else now, but I don't see them in the drugstores anymore. So let me know if y'all have tried this brand and if you know where else you can get it. So we're just going to put that. I wanted it to be a little dark to help go with this eye look. And then we're going to go in with this lipstick. Oh, that is perfect. Legit. I feel like it smells more like chocolate than it does gingerbread, but it smells. This is the final look. I think I'm going to go. Just to help blend this in more. And then last but not least, I finally picked up the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I've been looking at this since it came out. I was waiting on a sale and I picked up this with that Milk Highlighter during their Friends and Family 30% off sale. So haven't used this yet. Love the color. And we're just going to give ourselves a light spritz and that is going to be it. I think my skin looks so dewy, like just where the foundation was, the concealer, but it's weird because my face does still feel like it's not set. And I don't know. It's a little warm in my house. Let's see what this sprayer looks like though. Okay, girl. Not a strong smell. We ain't going to spray too much since my face already still feels wet. And I know this is a bit dewy, but hopefully it'll just help everything stay in place without drying it down. I love how this looks. I think my face looks so refreshed and just smooth and beautiful. That concealer is no joke though. So this is it guys. This is it for the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I enjoyed filming this more just like a talk to you, catch up with you as opposed to a tutorial. Let me know what you guys think about this style and I'll try to incorporate them more if you like it. I appreciate you staying with me till the end of the video. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. Until next time, hopefully I will keep up my two videos a week. But y'all please just be patient. Got a lot of life stuff going on, but I will be back as soon as I can. See you soon. Bye.